The question we're asking ourselves is, can you make decent fish and chips in an air fryer? And today we'll find out. I think you can. I don't think you're gonna get the fish as crispy. There is something about deep frying in oil, but sometimes, quite often actually, you might not want to. Certainly I don't want to always deep fry in oil, so freaking glasses are horrible. That's better. Think about it. Air fryer sits on the counter, you throw the stuff in, you turn it on, and you're done. But now you've got to deal. The other version is you got to deal with the oil and the pod, and it's hot, and it's dripping, it's splattering, it's going all over the place. And then fine, you get good fish and chips out of it. Take them out, put them on the plate, eat them. Now you know what you've got? Now you've got hot, dirty oil sitting on your counter in the pot that you have to dispense of somehow. What do you do with it? Quick! Exactly. Fries take the longest. We're gonna cut them, we're gonna soak them, then we're gonna cook them, and then uh, we'll prep the fish and everything will be quick, easy, delicious, and clean, clean-er. All right, here's what we're gonna do. These have been washed. All we wanna do is cut them. And look, you're welcome to peel them, but I don't, I don't really wanna peel them. I'm just gonna do this. I'm gonna take a little slice off the bottom so they sit flat, and then get rid of this kid. And now the goal is even slices, so what is that, three-eighths of an inch? No. Quarter of an inch? No. I don't know. I'm not good. I was not good in math at school. But the goal with any kind of cooking, to get everything cooking at the same time, in the same temperature, is even sized. So now you've got that flat, now we can do this way. Perfect. These guys we're going to put in this cold water beside me, like this, separate them. This is going to help get the starch off. Perfect. Same thing. You see the water getting cloudy and that's the starch coming off and getting rid of the starch is a good thing. We'll do this rinsing part two more times and then let them sit for about a half an hour in fresh water. All right, it's been 30 minutes. We're gonna dump out this water, bring it back and put in water that I just boiled in a kettle. Please don't crack the bowl. Please don't crack the bowl. Please don't crack the bowl. Very nice. We leave this for 10 minutes. This is also gonna help us get to very crispy fries. Oh, that's hot. All right, 10 minutes, then we fry. All right, it's been uh, 10 minutes. They've soaked in this boiling water. Let's drain them now. Uh-oh, come on guys, don't do that to me. All right, now we're gonna dry them. So let's get ourselves a towel. These guys we will now bring out. These have to be dry. Oil and water, do not mix. You're not gonna get a crispy fry if you've got a wet fry that you're starting with. So put everybody out. Then get yourself another towel and lovingly dry them off. But they're a little more tender now because you've had them in that boiling water, so don't be rough. And when they're dry, the bowl that they came out of, give that a little wipe because they're going back in it like this. And now we're gonna toss them with a little bit of neutral oil. This is avocado oil. This would not be the place that I would waste more expensive oil on it. Extra virgin olive oil. No, thank you. Even regular olive oil. I don't want these to taste olive oil-esque. I want them to taste like potatoes and the seasoning that we're gonna put on them. When you've got them tossed nicely, we come over to our air fryer that's at 390 or 400, and we put them in. So that's quite a lot. You just wanna make sure that they're sort of spread out in a way that the air is gonna be coming through. We're gonna cook them 20 to 25 minutes. We're gonna to toss them about the 10 minute mark. We can do it more often if we want, but for now, those look okay. In they go. In the meantime, we'll make some tartar sauce. And our tartar sauce ingredients look like this. What fun. We begin with some yogurts in our bowl. Beautiful. And we'll add the following. Some diced up dill pickle. Don't even think about using another kind of pickle because that's just jacked up and wrong. Like a sweet, a butter pickle in this would be horrible, horrible. A butter pickle? You know, bread and butter pickles? I guess I don't. They're not for this. I think they're called sandwich pickles. Bread and butter pickles, it's a thing. I'm sure you've had them not knowing what they were. So dice your dill. I mean, you make this as dill centric as you want. I like dill as evidenced by the fact that I'm using a bunch of dill pickle and fresh dill, and that will look like this. So you only want this part. You don't want stem, no stem, just the leaves. Like back in the days when you would buy a bag of weed and it would be filled with stems and seeds, you only wanted the leaves off it. You didn't want the stems. At least that's what they say in the movies. It's true, trust me, I'm from that era and 
You didn't get a, a bag of weed that looks like a bag of weed today. It was filled with stems and seeds. It was awful. It was kind of fun though, having to sit around and de-stem and de-seed it before a you lid? get smoked. A lid. A lid of weed? A lid. Two fingers in the bottom of a regulation Ziploc bag. You were Bill Grad? Me and Bill Grad. <laughs> you just blew up Bill Grad's spot. His mom is going to ground him. <laughs> that is so funny. Okay, dill in like this. Great. A little wipe, because we're anal. We? I'm anal. A couple more things. A little lemon juice, like this. Can always add more, don't go too crazy. A little splotch of Worcestershire, not too much. You don't want it brown. And some salt and pepper, like that. And we mix. That chunky AF, that's a tartar sauce for me. Little taste. Mmm. A little more lemon. That's really good. Okay, set that off to the side. Let's prep our fish. Before the fish, it's halfway with the fries. We're not quite halfway. But you can see they're getting there and they're doing fine. They're doing fine. All right, back in they go. Another 10 to 15 minutes at 400. And here we go. We've got flour and cornstarch. We've got egg. We've got panko breadcrumbs. And we've got our cod. We'll deal with this in a second. The cornstarch helps give extra crunch along with the flour. We're gonna season this with two things, our BFF, like that, and some Old Bay seasoning. Beautiful, nice, 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 nice. Great flavor. This we will mix. You don't wanna use Old Bay, you can use paprika. I mean, honestly, anything you want, but I think Old Bay is a nice touch here. Okay, when that's mixed, we're ready to go. So we take our cod, like this, it's always the same, into the flour. You gotta do a good job. All the sides, all the ends, it's an important step. The times I've missed this step and said, ah, screw it. I'm just gonna go egg panko, I've been very disappointed. And then into the egg. I was practicing a version of this earlier today and I thought I could skip the egg and the flour by just going first into Japanese mayo and then into the panko. I love the idea of that working out, it just did not. The fish was way too soft and it broke apart. So when you got this good, in we go, and a nice coating here. I always say I should be getting bigger containers to do this, because I'm always struggling to not make it fall out all over the place. And pat down well to coat well. All right, when this is good, put it off to the side, do the other piece. Max, what's our favorite fish and chip spot in London? Poppies. Poppies. If you've not seen our top 10 London video from a few years ago, yeah, you should. All right, just finish her up. We'll have a whole new set of new favorite places with Chance. And then we can go, ah, remember that night in the Myeongdong? All right, this is done. We're just waiting for our fries to finish. And then we're almost eaten. And are those beautiful or what? Watch this. Okay, listen. Crispy fries. So we know the time to season fries is while they're warm. So let's dump them out. That's a good solid sound. And we're gonna give them just two things. A little BFF, always, because it's great. And I happen to have some malt vinegar powder that I've had forever that I haven't used very much of. So obviously, if you don't have it, don't worry about it, but fries and malt vinegar are great. So this will just give a beautiful little extra kick. Now we toss. And because we have to do our fish next, we're gonna stick these in a 300 degree oven to stay warm, but not before Max and Chance and me each try one. And we eat. Mm. Damn. Hell yeah. You know what it is? Crispy outside, but light, fluffy inside. Mm. That's great. Okay, in the oven, these go, but now the fish goes in the fryer. Okay, we're still heated here. It's 400 degrees. I'm going to give just one good shot of spray. And people have been asking what I use when I use the air fryer. I'm just using Pam. No commercial, but it's what I'm using. I could be using some fancy olive oil or, you know, avocado spray, but I don't. I'm going to give these guys a quick spray too, and then in they'll go. One like that, one like that. Another quick spray. Oops. Close up shop. These are probably gonna take uh, five, six minutes a side. So let's start with five. When it runs out, we flip, we spray, we finish. And, okay, halfway mark, looking good. Quick spray, quick turn. Oh boy, we're gonna like this, man. Another quick spray, five more minutes. And, we're there. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, leave them for a second. Let's get the fries out, sit these on top, and then we're eating. And with our March Madness newspaper properly positioned, we'll put our fries down. By the way, anybody got Gonzaga? Never mind. And now our fish. And that will look like this. There. 
Not like that. Wow, that is pretty. Do you want some tartar sauce? And how about a lemon? There you go. Now you're talking. Let's just get this guy. I had my eye on this corner right here. Oh, it's hot. Why am I surprised at that? Let's just give it a little dip and make that a little bite. Oh, fuck. God, it smells so good. You hear this? Mmm. Mmm. Max, I'm back at Poppy's. What part of the town was it in? I'm back at Poppy's, sitting outside. Put the, Max will put the link to the uh, top 10 things we ate in London. Mmm. Mmm. In the malt powder. Holy shit. Mmm. Air fryer. We're fans. Make these. No oil. Technically not true. There may have been a couple tablespoons of oil tossed with the fries, but still, this is all so good. You know what else is good? My BFA, best fucking apron that I'm wearing. Sam the Cooking Guy. It's down here, the little logo. Sam the Cooking Guy. Anyway, go to shopstcg.com. Get this, get all the other stuff. And don't eat the same thing all the time. Don't eat the same thing all the time. And do this. Definitely dip your fries in the uh, tartar. Mm -hmm.